Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at file sharing. And this week I'm going to show you how to connect to the file shares that you've set, uh, set up uh, using a Mac. And so I want to go through the process of how to get that set up. So if you uh, haven't uh, seen the previous screencast, you might want to go back and take a look at those on how we set the file sharing service up and how we dealt with permissions and things like that. Uh, it would be a good one to explore uh, because, like I said, we're going to take what we've learned in that one now and use it to connect to our remote machines, okay, to connect to our Macs. So what I'm going to do is I've got a screen share set up, and let me just uh, go ahead and start with that. So let me just click on that so you can see. Okay, this is a screen share with my... Uh, Mac that I've got on my network here and what I'm going to do is show you how to connect to this file share So the first thing you're going to do is come here on the desktop You're going to go to the go menu and you're going to come down to say connect to server You can also use command K to get there So I say connect to server and in here you're going to put in your uh, You're going to put in AFP or if you wanted to use SMB You'd put that in with a colon and two backslashes and then your servers name and you put all of that in there and if you want to you could click the plus button and it would add it to your favorite server so you don't have to type it in again next time uh, but once we've got that in there we're going to click on connect here and so it's going to connect to the server and immediately what happens here is you see I get this login uh, to log into the server I can log in as a guest a registered user or using an Apple ID well I'm just going to go ahead and log in as a registered user and put in my credentials here And once I've got that information in there, I click on Connect. And what it will do is it will bring up all of the different file shares that I've got and those things that I have available on the server. Now, you'll notice these here will match what I have in the server right here. So all of these, because I've got those shared with myself, all of those are what show up on the server. So if you look at those and compare what we've got here, you can see I've got all of those listed. Now all I need to do is choose a folder to mount. So let's just say I want to let's just say I want to mount this uh, you know movies folder. Let's say I'm just going to put that on there. We're going to say all right, and it's going to go ahead and mount that folder for me. And you can see it's starting to connect right now through AFP. And now that I've done that, you can see I've got my movies folder now mounted on uh, my remote Mac, okay, or my Mac that I'm doing the screen share with. So it's really that simple to get those things set up and to mount them. And you can do that for uh, any one of the file shares you want. You can just go back and mount the next one and the next one and so on uh, on your machine. Now, um, you know, as you do that, you can set this up to auto mount some of these things when you boot your machine through Profile Manager. And when I get to Profile Manager, I'll explain how to do that. Uh, but if you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to have it uh, mount at login by yourself, you didn't want to have Profile Manager to manage it, uh, there is a way to do that. And let me just show you how that works. What you're going to do is you're going to pull up uh, System Preferences. And you're going to want to go into the Users and Groups area of System Preferences to the Login Items. And this is all of the different items that will start at Login and it will automatically mount. And so what we're going to do is just take this Movies folder and you drag it into this area here. And it's going to add that folder right down here to my Login Items. And so what that's going to do is automatically look for the Movies folder and mount it for me when I do a restart. Now what this won't do is it won't uh, reconnect it if you somehow get disconnected. It's not going to, if you put it to sleep, all of a sudden then connect uh, to your drive when you wake up. Uh, that's the disadvantages of it. You'd still have to manually connect. But if you're doing a clean restart when you come in in the morning and you're uh, starting your machine, it will then go ahead and add that uh, uh, file or folder automatically to your desktop. All right, that's how that works. Again, if you're using uh, Profile Manager, we can set it up in there as well, but I just wanted to show you a shortcut on how to make that work here uh, on your remote machine. So let's go ahead and uh, put this down here. So that shows you how you can mount this. And like I said, you can do this for all your different file shares. Now, let me show you what it looks like over on the server uh, when you do that kind of thing. So let's just go back in the server. And you'll notice up here now in file sharing, it says connected users one, because it knows that someone now is connected to one of my file shares that I've got here. If I just click on this, you can see it's going to give me my username. It's going to give me the IP address that I'm connecting from. So this would be the IP address of the Mac that I'm using right now. It shows how much idle time I've had, uh, which right now is none. I haven't had any idle time. It shows me the type of connection as well, of AFP. If this was an SMB connection, obviously it would show SMB and give me that information as well. 
And so what I can also do if I wanted to is I could I could disconnect this file share from the server. So if I've got a user that's looking at files maybe they shouldn't look at or I don't want them to have access to, I can uh, kick them off just by clicking on this disconnect button right here. And it says, are you sure you want to disconnect the selected user? I'm going to say, yes, I'll disconnect the user. And so now it's going to go and disconnect that user from the server. Now, over on the user side, this is what they get in case you wanted to know. It just says the server is shutting down. And so it's just saying, hey, the file server shut down, so we disconnected you uh, from that uh, file share. And so I just click OK and then move on. Uh, but that's how I would do that if I wanted to disconnect a user. Let's just come back in here to file sharing. And you can see I have no connected users now because I've done that. So that gives you an idea of how to connect to your file shares using a Mac. Uh, again, a pretty straightforward process, not too difficult, but I wanted to show you how that works. And that'll work remotely as well as locally if you've set up your server to be accessed remotely uh, through the process that we've already talked about in previous screencasts. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.